and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meezy69. Welcome back to the channel. I hope every one of you had a fantastic Christmas. Uh, I sure did, and I'm going to enjoy these uh, these couple of days uh, for rest. I need some rest, so I've got a couple of more uh, days off work just to uh, chill out. It's my wife's birthday tomorrow uh, as well. So uh, we got a lot going on over Christmas. My wife's birthday, Christmas. We had the family round yesterday. Uh, yeah, it's been completely full on this Christmas. That is why the video is late today because I just haven't had the chance to uh, make it. And I haven't even made yesterday's, uh, tomorrow's uh, video yet. So there possibly may not even be a video tomorrow. Depends if I get time to, uh, to make it. So today, Today's video. Um, this was like a last minute thing. I never even thought of it. I was just going through a few things. And I thought oh, this would be a, a good topic for a, a top five video. So the top five mistakes war gaming have made the top five mistakes that war gaming have generally made i know a lot of you are gonna say things like matchmaking and, and so on and so on uh, but these are off the top of my head, thinking about it, uh, are the, the five things that uh, I believe Wargaming have made a mistake for. So first up is, obviously we, we've got this tank right here. It, it's the Smasher. We all know about the Smasher and we all know uh, about the Annihilator. Let me just turn the, uh, the volume to fine. So of course, uh, Wargaming made this mistake. Wargaming made the mistake to sell these tanks, the Annihilator and the Smasher. And we told them, like me particularly, I tested the Smasher. Um, they asked, I had it on my uh, press account before it was for sale and I didn't realize I wasn't allowed to play it and I played it. And before it was even released, I said to Wargaming, what are you doing, Wargaming? Why? Are you releasing this tank? Now, I, I like the the idea of it. I do love the idea of the Smasher. And don't get me wrong, I love the Smasher. It's one of my go-to tanks because, of course, it's it's a fun tank to play. Um, but uh, the idea of the the whole concept of it is it's supposed to, supposed to be a premium KV2, which is absolutely fine. You know, a KV2 was at the time uh, before the Smasher one of the most popular tanks in the game. And Wargaming wanted to make a premium version or a collectible version, which is absolutely fine. <coughs> then copy and paste it. You know, copy and paste the KV-2 and make it into a premium so you can earn more credits than you would if you're playing the KV-2. But no, Wargaming decided to, to make it a tier higher and give it insane penetration uh, for your premium round. And like I've said before, the premium round of this tank, uh, the Heat, you have more penetration than most uh, tier 8 tanks. You've got more premium pen than most tier 8 tanks. And this is a tier 7 KV-2. It's stupid. It is absolutely silly. And I don't know who ever thought of uh, releasing this tank and that same goes to the annihilator it's exactly the same as the annihilator we've got a hell's in which is extremely strong um at the time with a double shot wargaming fought the need to make a triple shot like i honestly don't get the idea i don't get why these were released so in my opinion these were a mistake from Wargaming's point uh, on Wargaming's uh, half, beh uh, behalf. So next up, now this tank here. I'm not going to talk about this mistake for too much because to hopefully tomorrow's video is actually a, a video of the M60. Uh, and again, the M60, in my opinion, was uh, a mistake on Wargaming's behalf. The way they went about. Uh, bringing it into the game and giving it to, to certain people, which we will talk about hopefully in tomorrow's video. Um, but also, the I know people got this for free. I mean, I got this for free. But then Wargaming go and sell it. They go and sell it. Like, in my personal opinion, if you're going to give it to a player for free, this tank was made to give to players for free for a certain reason, which we will talk about tomorrow. Then I think that this tank should never then be sold. 
I think it should just be unique to them people. But then Wargaming have sold it, they've sold it, they've sold it, they've sold it, they've put it in crates, they put it in crates, they put it in uh, the auction. Then again, that is, in my, in my opinion, another mistake. So Wargaming, in my view, have made two mistakes regarding the M60. One of them is the fact that they're selling it, and the other is the way that it was introduced into the game. So that is another Wargaming error. Number three, now we're getting to the uh, the big boy errors, the big, big mistakes and what Wargaming have uh, done over the years that uh, really is uh, a big boo-boo. So, so the third thing I think is more recently, it's more recently and obviously it has to do with the, the war and I, don't get me wrong, I love how Wargaming have dealt with the, the war on, uh, the Russian war on Ukraine, the invade uh, of Ukraine. I absolutely admire how they've dealt with it. You know, I, I people don't give them enough credit to how much or how good they have dealt with it. I mean, they've moved completely to a different country. They've cut off uh, their part from Russia. Uh, they're losing a lot of money. And they are, they've got rid of the Russian server. Like, sorry, we, we don't want anything to do with it, which I admire. But the one thing that they have done wrong here, and to be honest, I'm not so much sure how it all go about, uh, how this all went about, and how to deal with it, and how Wargaming... It might have not even been Wargaming's fault, uh, but it is the RU server migration. Now, I think this is a big... At the moment... This is a big error on Wargaming's point of view. Um, not the, for the fact that everyone's coming onto the EU server, everyone's talking Russian or Ukrainian or whatever other language they uh, they speak um, or people from the RU server speak that's coming over. That's not even that, you know. We do get a lot of it and we do get uh, a lot of the rage from the RU uh, players. Um, but that's not even the error, or that's not even the mistake. The mistake, what we're, is happening right now, and uh, fair enough, Wargaming are dealing with it. They are uh, actively dealing with it, but it's a mistake that I don't think should have ever, ever happened. Now, over the last couple of weeks, so many players have been messaging me because their account has been hacked. Their account has been hacked and it's been transferred to a different server. I don't know what server, I can't remember. And then you try and log on and it said it's banned. Um, this is a big error. This is a big error. Now, Wargaming are sorting this out and they are transferring the players, uh, their accounts back. But if you play on the the are you or the EU server or the NA server you try and log in and it says your your something like your account has been transferred to a different server blah 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 and no one these players have no idea what has gone on basically it's people that have been transferred or hacking their account and transferring it to a different server and it allow it doesn't then allow that person to play their account now you write a ticket to the the support, they're useless. They are absolutely useless. Now, one person I really recommend, uh, um, admire, again, is Alexandra. She has been helping massively. Like, she is a credit. People don't acknowledge Alexandra as much, except for her good looks. Yes, she's good looking, uh, blah, blah, blah. But she is an absolute credit to Wargaming. I've met Alexandra, and she does so much work for Wargaming in the background, uh, she's the face of them, she does so much work for this company, she doesn't get enough credit for what she does. Now, what we've been doing, obviously I'm a moderator in the Wargaming server, uh, so are other people. Now, when, War, uh, when people message us saying about their account uh, and it's been blocked, etc., if they send us the, the ticket number, we then forward it on to Alex and she deals with it and she gets these players their accounts back. So if you have your account blocked, obviously do write a ticket, message Alexandra by all means. Don't worry so much, you will be able to get your account back. Uh, but I, this should never happen. This should never ever happen, uh, but it has. So that, in my opinion, is another Wargaming mistake. Now moving on to the two 
biggest or one of the two biggest uh, mistakes that wargaming have ever made and one of them is if you look at any 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 tank you've got equipment now this didn't used to be there you've got nine equipment slots that you can uh, use and you can choose between 18 um so when this was first introduced to the game the only way that you can unlock this was with spare parts now spare parts was one of the worst things ever to be introduced to the game. Now, people that know, have been around for a while, will know too much, all too much, about how frustrating spare parts were. Now, now you just unlock these with credits. You couldn't do that back in the day. Not only did you need the credits, but you needed to earn enough spare parts as well to unlock these equipment. Now, spare parts was just stupid wargaming eventually realized that it was a bad idea and they removed it fine like it took a while uh, but at least they realized they at least they listened to their players and they realized that spare parts was so useless it should have never even been added so that there was a big boo-boo that was a big boo-boo now the first or the f number one, the, the worst thing, the worst mistake that Wargaming have ever made. Now, I'm going to add just one more, which is the missiles. Adding the Sheridan missiles to the game was a big boo-boo, but I don't think it was the worst thing. It wasn't around for that long, and Wargaming, again, listened to the players and they removed it. So, the, uh, the, the missiles is a bonus add. Now, number one. The, the worst mistake Wargaming have ever made is if you go over here, you've got things like collectible tanks, uh, which is a good thing. I wish that they were all collectibles uh, because you can sell these for gold. You can't sell premium tanks for gold, but you, you can only sell them for credits, but you can sell collectibles for gold. Now, you've got things like the Smasher, obviously the tier 9s, the tier uh, 10s, some tier 10s, some tier 7s, but you've also got lower tier tanks as well as you can see here most of these tanks or a lot of these tanks were in the tech tree so you actually grinded these tanks things like this things like this things like this all of them all of these tanks you could grind now this is the infamous update 5.5 where wargaming big brain uh thought it was a great idea and again the behind I, I love the idea of it they wanted to make it an easier grind a quicker grind and ha make it more simpler make the grind more simpler because you go into tech tree tanks here and you've got the german tank you go down and you could just see there is one tier one one tier two one tier three then it starts to branch off now it used to be three or four tier twos uh three or four tier threes a few tier fours and quite a few tier fives and maybe a few tier sixes and then obviously the tier sevens pretty much are and the tier eights are as they are so it didn't used to be that wargaming decided to remove these tanks and put them as collectible tanks now this is great if you owned all these tanks because you can sell them all and earn thousands and thousands of gold but what wargaming made the error of is uh now people are grinding these lines so much quicker now i believe when they first got this uh, sort of the 5.5 come out and they removed all these okay fair enough make them collectible they want to make the line simpler that is absolutely fine um but these tanks are very rarely now coming for sale you can very rarely buy the tanks obviously you can get the tanks in the battle pass the first level if you buy the battle pass uh, the tanks are coming available there but what wargaming didn't do is up the xp uh, for each of these lines so you can grind the lines exactly the same speed as you could before uh, but except for when i first started i probably had about five tier fives or maybe even more before i even got a tier six like now people are grinding these so much quicker 
they can get to te tier 10 so much quicker than they originally did. Um, and it's making the tier 10 gameplay very, very bad, which is what we've been speaking about, again, for a very long time. So in my opinion, removing all the lower tier tanks, uh, people used to grind, you know, people used to grind all of them. P some people used to grind all the tier 1s, then all the tier 2s, um, especially even like the Germans. They used to grind all the German tier 1s, all the German tier 2s, all the German tier 3s, tier 4s, tier 5s, and so on. But now it's just one line until you get to tier 4, then it's two lines, and then obviously it then goes into more lines as you go further up. Um, so yeah, this was a big mistake on Wargaming's behalf, uh, that update 5.5. Everyone speaks about update 5.5 and how bad that update was. So let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you think Wargaming's biggest mistake in this game was. Hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I'm Meadzy, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.